All right, guys, so I get very often the question, is it safe to buy computer parts from Amazon warehouse deals? Well, today I got this motherboard. It's a B450 motherboard from Colorful, a very unknown brand, especially here. And now this motherboard coupled with still from warehouse deals during the Black Friday, I got this Ryzen 5 5500. We're gonna do a build with them, so we will answer the question indefinitely but so far the pins are straight the cpu looks kind of nice let's see what the motherboard looks like we have everything we don't have the original box but we have everything we need and it looks nice as well it looks new actually so let's see okay so here we are with the cpu now this shouldn't be compatible uh here it says please do not use Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, that kind of scares me. But anyways, um, this should be compatible. So we are just gonna slot it in, aligning the triangle with the triangle, and then close it down. It should be clamped properly. Okay, and now we're gonna just quickly, just get it. Okay, the, the, the heat sink is coming off, but we're gonna just quickly test it with our test power supply. And we're gonna see if we get a signal. So let's come back in three seconds. Okay, so we tried turning it on. First try, everything went on to full speed, which means that the CPU is not recognized as I thought. So now we're gonna slap a Ryzen 5 3600 over here and see if that one makes it boot. Okay, so we get this Ryzen 5 3600, we'll leave it here, and now we're gonna swap it and actually see if uh, with the right CPU it does boot. Okay. So here we are, the triangle is very small on Ryzen CPUs, by the way, it's this small thing. Now we're slapping it on the socket and closing it down. Okay, it did not even make the click, which is a bit odd, but hey. And now let's test it out and see if this time it boots. So we just turn it on, short the power button. Um, I said short the power button, okay. Okay, so this looks like full speed again to me. So that's not very good news. Okay, okay, slow down. Let's see if we get a signal. This means it should be booting. But maybe we'll come back to you if it does boot. Okay, guys, we managed to make it boot first try. And now if we get a close look here, it says UFI 2.7 PY 1.6, which means that the BIOS version is from 2019. And that's why it was working. So now we will just quickly boot into Windows, get the proper BIOS, flash it, and then on 3600 is going to work perfectly fine. Okay, so this colorful motherboard actually doesn't have in the BIOS the option to update it. So you had to run uh, Afu Win, which is a Windows BIOS updater, which is actually very, very risky to use. Um, and I am currently trying to, to get it to update. If it doesn't work and if it doesn't support this thing, I will have to try and cross flash it with another uh, colorful motherboard, but I will keep you updated either way. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I have Afu Win here and I am forcing the updates with the X command. So let's see if it breaks this motherboard or if it works. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it wasn't letting me flash, so I had to find in the like the depth of the internet from 2010 those commands and I inputted them. Now you have to hit F to force it and we'll maybe do a full guide. But basically now it's working, so we will finally see if it breaks my whole PC of, or if this works. We are effectively cross-flashing the motherboard. So guys, I did it. The BIOS is now completely different. It's from a different motherboard and it's the latest one. As you can see, version time 2022, May the 11th. I've done it. Yes. And guys, after cross-flashing the BIOS, getting the update from a different motherboard from the same brand which has a newer management engine in it we managed to get to work the ryzen 5 5600 on a motherboard that literally says caution please do not use ryzen 5 4600x nice this is what i call a victory